This is Diane, 21-15-9 deadlifts at 225 pounds and handstand push-ups. That was a quick one. It didn't used to be. I think being able to increase your max deadlift to the point where relatively that weight feels a little bit lighter was the biggest difference maker for me in doing this workout over the years. Back in 2012, when I first started, 225 pounds was like, 50 pounds off my one rep max. So that was very, very difficult to get through the deadlifts. Even position wise, the way I deadlifted back in the day was not very efficient. So number one tip and the number one reason why I've gotten faster on this workout over the years, increasing the strength of my deadlift, which kind of goes hand in hand with increasing my positioning and efficiency of movement. Speaking of which, I think a lot of people Notice that I do my deadlifts with a clean grip. That's because when I started working with Max El Haj of Training Think Tank back in 2017, I had a discrepancy when I would do normal deadlifts where I had a really hard time engaging this lat. So I would always pull kind of crooked. Even when I did Olympic lifting, this arm would lag behind. So we switched to clean grip where I could actively engage my lats down and that made a big difference. And I PR'd my one or max doing it that way. It just feels a lot more comfortable. Um, my, the biggest cue that changed the game on deadlifting for me, instead of thinking about retracting my scapulas and that keeping my back flat, I like to think about squeezing my lats down and a little bit back, but mostly just down and in. The cue that somebody gave me on that was like, you're squeezing a tennis ball between your arm and your rib cage. And that, for me, locks my back in super flat and I don't end up losing positioning there. So huge, huge tip. Squeeze a tennis ball between your arms and your ribs to keep your back flat on deadlifts. Weight-wise on deadlifts, I would say if you're looking to take on Diane, if your deadlift as a male is 315 or more, 225 is probably appropriate. If you're not quite there yet, you might want to scale the weight down a little bit to something that you can at least do sets of splitting the deadlifts in thirds. So seven, seven, seven on the first set, et cetera. If your deadlift is 405 or more, I would say it's appropriate to go 225. Um, obviously unbroken is the fastest way to go. If you're not there yet, I like the strategy of quick, fast sevens, fives, and threes because a deadlift is one of the movements where breaking it, the setup to pick it back up is probably the fastest. 
you can drop it, bend down, and pick it right back up. Handstand push-ups. Similarly, like efficiency of movement there is huge. If you have handstand push-ups, one of the ways that I'm able to speed mine up is tightening up my kip a little bit. Instead of kipping where I'm tucking my knees all the way to my elbows, I make it a little mini kip where I'm barely bringing my knees down, my butt touches the wall and I spring right back up. So that's keeping the time that I'm on the wall a little shorter. I use the new standard of the 30 inch line, 10 inches off the wall. I feel like getting my thumbs on the edges of the tape there allows me to go pretty wide and feel pretty quick with those. If you don't have handstand push-ups down yet, you can do wall walks, handstand holds. Um, we'll come up with some tip videos on handstand push-up technique and strategy. I feel like now is not necessarily the time for that, but if you're taking on Diane, best of luck to you. Kick some booty, and we'll see you next time.